So who provides these services? Well, we've just opened up a whole new ball of wax. Who provides these services? Who, who, what is a pain doctor? Anyone know what a pain doctor is? Give me just one person, just give me a definition. What in the world is a pain doctor? So, we, so it's safe to assume that, that pretty much everyone here either has chronic pain or has a family member with chronic pain. Everyone here has been to a physician uh, or has a family member who's been to a physician who claims that they're a pain doctor. What in the world is a pain doctor? Right, so someone who should be helping you find out where your pain is and maybe help you um, get better. True. Uh, so now we, we look at the people who provide those services, right? It's, it's, it's enormous. You've got anesthesiologists in emergency medicine, general surgery, interventional pain management, typically through anesthesiology, but sometimes through some other specialties. You've got oncology, neurology, neurosurgery, orthopedic physiatry, psychiatry, primary care, internal medicine, radiology, rheumatology, and trauma surgery. And I've probably missed a few. And that's just in the physician world. Now, outside the physician world, we have chiropractors, CRNAs, nurse practitioners, physician assistants, physical therapists, massage therapists, acupuncture, holistic or homeopathic doctors, DME providers, hospice and home health providers. And if I've missed any I apologize. I feel like I'm here at the Oscars or something trying to think, you know. <laughs> and there's like Gracie there with the time card. You're out of time. You're out of time. Hurry up. Uh, I'd like to thank my family. Like to, uh, you know, we've got so many people providing pain management services, right? How do we keep them straight? How do we keep them straight? We have no way of keeping them straight. So what is a pain doctor? It goes back to the beginning definition. Now, if I said, what's a cardiologist? You'd be like, oh my god, I know exactly what that is. It's a, guy, it's, a, it's a physician who's done internal medicine and a cardiology fellowship. Done. Period. End of story. That's it. There's no debate on that, right? I ask you, what's a pain doctor? And everyone here has been, to, or has a family member who's been to a pain doctor. Well, here, <laughs> yeah, here's the problem, right? We're missing the big picture here. You know, what we have is we have multiple specialties that are taught their little narrow sliver in the world of where they fall, you know, in their specialty. So you have the psychiatrist who looks at that, uh, you know, the elephant, you know, here, and he sees depression. You have the otolaryngologist who looks and he sees TMJ. Then you've got the neurologist who sees a chronic headache, and you've got the rheumatologist who, who sees fibromyalgia, and then, of course, refers it out because they say, oh, we don't treat fibromyalgia. <laughs> then you've got the cardiologist who sees a non-cardiac chest pain. You've got the gynecologist who sees PMS. And you've got the gastroenterologist who sees irritable bowel syndrome. Does this even remotely sound familiar to at least a few of you? <laughs> We're missing the big picture here, right? And, and this is kind of the problem, I think, uh, that we see in medicine. And it's only going to get worse because at the end of the day, um, you know, for the gastroenterologist to look beyond his scope of, of, of training and to spend that much time invested in you and, and quite frankly, not get paid anymore doesn't make any financial sense. And his administrator who, you know, or his boss or, or you know, or even if he owns his own practice, he's going to look at the bottom line and say, hey, listen, I, I can't do this because I'm losing money. I'm not making money. I'm going to lose my job. So how do we go beyond that? Well, that's not the focus of this discussion, thank God, because I'm not sure I have an answer to that one. Um, but that is one of the problems that we see with pain management is you've got everyone under the sun trying to, hopefully, trying to help, trying to figure out what's going on, and hardly any of them have formal training. So they're spinning their wheels, but not getting anywhere. 